Hey YouTube, what is going on? It's Tiger back again, guys. Bringing you another GTA 5 online video for y'all. And, uh, yeah, in this video, guys, it's just gonna be a quick tutorial, basically, on how to drift in GTA 5 online with this new, uh, LS Tuners update. Um, you can put on, uh, low grip tires, basically, and drift your car with them. So, I'm gonna show you guys how you can do that. Um,. I'm just kind of showing off the Anis RX350 here. It's a pretty sick car. It's actually really nice. It, one thing that sucks though is that you need to be like a level 180 in the LS uh, like tuners update to be able to put on like the best liveries, which really sucks. Um, I thought that you would have been able to. Uh, um, like just equip any livery like if you paid the amount of money but it's ridiculous but luckily there are some decent ones like this is a pretty decent one that I fitted onto the RX350 here I got it totally decked out interiors all decked out it's got the pink uh, underglow and everything like that to match uh, the livery but yeah I think it turned out pretty sweet I'm gonna be doing like a whole tuners garage kinda showcase once I have all my cars tricked out and uh have everything all done up but yeah as you see here you go into uh, when you're in the tuners uh, like area here you can go into wheels and then tire enhancements and then you can equip the low grip tires and you have to be in the auto show here or the uh, uh, LS tuners car meet you can't do this in your normal uh, warehouse or auto shop garage or LS uh, customs you need to be in the LS tuners actual car meet so but yeah, this RX350, or I don't know if it is it RX or RZ350, but anyway, this thing sounds so sick idling. It definitely has one of the nicest idle sounds in the game, um, which it rightfully should because the real rotary RX7 sound incredible when they're like fully fully upgraded and they're just sitting there idling. They sound incredible. They have like really nice lope like to them, and uh, yeah, just really sick cars in real life. So I'm glad they gave it kind of that signature uh, rotary sound there which is pretty sweet but yeah gorgeous car as you can see um, you can slide around now really easily with the low grip tires honestly I don't know it's like insanely difficult to drift I'm absolute trash at it so you guys can like roast me in the comments because I already know like I'm complete garbage at drifting in this game but I don't know I feel like some of the cars in the game already drift pretty well even without having low grip tires on them so I think it's all about finding like, I know for a fact the Yosemite drifts, like, really well already without low-grip tires. So, like, I feel like if you really want to be a drifter in this game, just pick one of the vehicles that drifts the best. And, I don't know, just, like, kind of go with that. Like, I, I think the low-grip tires are kind of useless, honestly. But, I don't know, maybe some of you guys out there are, like, pro drifters and uh, are able to drift with these low-grip tires, like, like, like a boss. Like, unlike me, just, like, absolute trash. But... Yeah, what I did find, or what I've heard, is that you should downgrade your engine upgrades. Like, downgrade them to, like, upgrade level 2 or 1. And it makes it a little bit easier, because then your car has less power, so you're not spinning out as much. But, like, I have... Right here, I think I have this thing on level 2. But I have everything else fully upgraded. Like, the transmission, there's full turbo on it. So I don't think that's helping my case too much. But uh, I went out with the Anis Previon as well with absolutely no mods on it whatsoever except the low grip tires and I still couldn't drift for my life so I don't know I think I'm just complete trash and uh, I was I found some really cool drifting roads too if you guys are interested I can make like a top five drifting locations in GTA 5 if you guys want but I mean it's pretty straightforward just look on the map for some curvy roads but if you guys want to see like top five locations I can make a video like that if you guys want or leave some uh, locations and recommendations down in the comments for best spots to drift and also uh, what you guys find is the best uh, car for drifting and best like uh, method whether it be like not using the low grip tires or using the e-brake a lot like I find if you use the e-brake a lot with the low grip tires you're just sliding like ridiculously everywhere like it's impossible to control so I don't know. Yeah, if you guys are pro drifters, leave, leave some uh, re uh, suggestions in the comments for us all who suck at it. And uh, help us all improve. As a community, as a group. The Tiger Clan, you know what I'm saying? But, uh... 
yeah, I don't know. I don't think I'll be drifting again anytime soon. I think I prefer just ripping around in this thing on uh, regular grip tires. But yeah, I wasn't much better in the Previon either with no upgrades in the low grip tires, so I don't know. I don't really know uh, how to become an expert drifter, but this is how you do it anyway. This is how you equip the low grip tires and this is supposedly how you're supposed to be able to drift in the game now. So if you guys were looking for that, hopefully this video helped you guys out in that sense. But yeah, I was upgrading this RX350 for literally like a good two hours because I was trying to pick out the best like paint combination and there's so many different modifications for all these LS tuners cars and this uh, new update it's, it's pretty awesome though I'm gonna be doing a video on the uh, like the top five or probably no I'll probably just do the most customizable LS tuners car um, and then just showcasing that just to show you guys how many different modifications there are but if you guys haven't like been playing GTA in ages like me and you just got back on this I'd say this DLC is worth getting back on for. It's it's pretty pretty solid DLC, especially if you're a car guy like me and can appreciate these cars. They did a pretty good job on them, so that's uh, one thing I'll give them credit for. But uh, the share are taking their sweet time with Grand Theft Auto 6. I don't know what the hell they're waiting for, but yeah, hopefully uh, it's gonna live up to GTA 5. I don't know. They've got uh, got a lot to uh, compete against here. This game was pretty amazing when it came out, so definitely got a uh, big uh, hole to fill, that's for sure. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. That's basically it. You just watch me being absolute trash at drifting here. Like literally, it couldn't even like do one nice turn like a uh, corner here. Like everything was just garbage. Absolutely terrible. Like total embarrassment. But. Uh, I don't know, the car is nice anyway, you can look at the car and appreciate that. This one was fairly decent, but then of course I went off the road there, so that was probably the best drift of the whole video. But uh, yeah, just total embarrassment, absolute trash drifting, and uh, yeah, Han would be ashamed from Fast and Furious, I think that's his name anyway. I don't know, I haven't seen that movie in like 5 million years. I think I saw like the ninth one in theaters. I don't even know what one they're on now. Is that the newest one? I saw, like, seven or eight, I think, in theaters. But, yeah, the OG ones are the best, for sure. This is, like, his RX-7 that he has. He's got, like, a huge, like, Liberty Walk body kit on his, though, or something. Or Flail, or what is it called? Veil Side, I think, is the name? Yeah, it's not Flail Side. It's, like, Veil Side, I think. Veil Side? That was a sick, um, like, aftermarket cars for, or, uh, company for these Japanese cars. They're pretty sweet. Um, yeah, they made some sick body kits. But yeah, just complete garbage drifting here. Pretty, pretty ugly, that's for sure. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. That's basically it for me for this one. And I'm uh, gonna try and hopefully upload uh, more regularly for you guys. Um, and uh, yeah, bring you guys some more solid content, but if you guys didn't go on to enjoy the video, leave a like and subscribe as always, and uh, we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace!